Hello and welcome everyone to yet another interesting episode of Environment Primer. In today's episode, we are going to discuss a very important topic that is significant in determining the threat that is our global biodiversity is facing. The title of our today's discussion is Invasive Alien Species Threat to Our Ecosystem. In this discussion, we will be studying about what are these invasive species? What is the issue regarding them? We will also see the climate change impact. We are also going to understand this body known as the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services also known as the IPBES and we are also going to discuss its recent report on the invasive alien species and in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic, a recent report has been released by this intergovernmental organization or intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services also known as the IPBES. And this report has raised a concern about the proliferation of invasive alien species and the threat they are causing to our global biodiversity. So, with this we come to the moot question of our today's discussion that what are these invasive alien species? So, if I talk about the invasive alien species, they are the invasive uh, non-native species. That means they are not naturally occurring species. They are introduced by humans into the places outside of their natural range. And what do they do? They start multiplying in population and hence in turn they threaten the native population or the uh, native uh, ecosystem of that area. So, uh, this is a major threat that is being uh, caused by the invasive alien species and they are invasive exotic species or non-native species that have been introduced by human activities. These species can be animals, plants, fungi or microorganisms and they can affect all types of ecosystem. And that is why this pose such a big threat to the global biodiversity. These are one of the biggest causes of biodiversity loss and species extinctions. See, on one hand, we are very about worried about that our natural biodiversity is getting lost. And on the other hand, we are introducing these uh, invasive alien species which are causing a further loss in our global biodiversity. So, if you ask me the common invasive alien species, so, the water hyacinth ranks as the world, world's most widespread invasive alien species on land. Then there is lantana, a flowering shrub and the black rat hold the second and the third positions on the global invasion scale. The brown rat and the house mouse are also widespread invaders. So, uh, consider the first species or let me show you a pictorial representation of the first uh, a species known as the water hyacinth and what does it do to the natural marine ecosystem? See through this picture. What did they do? They have multiplied, they have grown all over this area and they have covered a natural lake okay, or a natural water body. And what do they do? They cut the supply of oxygen to the fishes. They cut the supply to the of the food in the natural marine ecosystem and that is how they lead to extinction of many fishes or the extinction of the marine ecosystem. So, uh, these invasive alien species, that's why are a threat to the global biodiversity. The report almost states that more than 37,000 alien species identified across the world, around 3,500 are invasive. Invasive alien species like Aedes albopictus and Aedes AGPT spread diseases such as malaria, Zika and West Nile fever. So, you might have heard in the news also that many people are you know getting infected by dengue. Many people are getting infected by diseases such as malaria, such as Zika virus, such as other diseases and the invasive alien species are responsible to some extent for causing these new new diseases in the human. So, they are not in uh, only a threat to the global biodiversity, they are also a big threat to the human population. Now, let us discuss what is the issue regarding them? How are they impacting the ecosystem? So, you saw in that pictorial representation, right, that how 
एन इनवेजिव एलियन स्पीसीज कवर द होल लेक एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड द इंटायर मरीन इको सिस्टम बाई कटिंग द फूड सप्लाई सो दिस इज वॉट दे डू द ह्यूमन इंट्रोड्यूस दम आउट ऑफ देयर ओन सेल्फिश इंटरेस्ट एंड द परसिव बेनिफिट इन सेक्टर सच एज फॉरेस्ट्री एग्रीकल्चर हॉर्टिकल्चर एक्वाकल्चर एंड एज पेट सीवन सो द ह्यूमन्स आर वेरी सेल्फिश पीपल दे इंट्रोड्यूस दम फॉर द ओन सेल्फिश नीड्स एंड फॉर परसिव बेनिफिट्स इन सर्टन सेक्टर्स but what are they doing they did not realize the negative impact and if you talk about the negative impact nearly 80% of the impact that is documented is negative of these invasive alien species invasive alien species have played a significant role in 60% of documented global plant and animal extinctions they are you know directly responsible for the extinction of the natural or the native species and they keep on destroying the ecosystems these species are now recognized as one of the five primary drivers of biodiversity loss alongside land and sea use change direct exploitation of organisms climate change and pollution so as i was telling you before also nearly 80% of the documented impact of these invasive alien species is negative and if i talk about india nearly 22% of the natural area is impacted by these invaded species and if i talk about the economic loss that is being caused by these species the un has estimated that they are causing a loss of dollar 400 billion around dollar 400 billion every year so we introduce them for our own selfish needs we did not uh, assess the negative impacts we saw that only the positive impacts but there are negative impacts and they are affecting the global biodiversity and they are also causing economic loss and this is the main issue with these species the majority of negative impacts occurs on land especially in forests woodlands and cultivated areas invasive alien species are most damaging on islands more than on more than 25% of the islands the number of alien plants now exceeds the native plants and this is so harming to the ecosystem of an island an ideal island has a special ecosystem and what are these species is doing they are damaging the island ecosystem 85% of the impact of biological invasions on native species are negative so i have mentioned this before also that there is a huge amount of negative impact of these species on the natural species and hence the natural native species are facing extinction now let us discuss the climate change impact climate change is the biggest singular threat to the global biodiversity as well global warming increases the risk of the invasive alien species as well they reproduct start reproducing quickly due to the impact of global warming and they as they reproduce quickly they start you know cutting the food supply they start cutting the oxygen if they are in the rivers or water bodies and hence they are a threat not only to the plant but also to the humans as well climate change is also predicted to increase the competitive ability of some of the invasive alien species extending the area suitable for them and offering new opportunities for introductions and establishment so this is what the climate change is doing it is completely changing the weather patterns across the globe it is completely bringing a change in the ecosystems around the world and the impact has it has a huge impact on these invasive alien species it uh, promotes them to reproduce quickly and to also increase the area under them invasive alien species can also amplify the impacts of climate change why because they are uh you know responsible for the extinction of native species so if these species will increase definitely the native species are become will become extinct and hence the natural ecosystem will be uh, impacted and will suffer the worst impacts of climate change and they will add up to the effects of the worst impact on the climate change now let us study about the body which has released this report So IPBES is an independent intergovernmental body established to strengthen the science policy interface for biodiversity and ecosystem services working in a similar way to the IPCC which is the UN's climate science body so basically it is also a scientific body and it 
the four Cs various arenas and it also releases timely reports on the global biodiversity situation. It was established in 2012 by 94 governments and its membership has continued to grow as its impact has increased. Definitely, the countries on uh, a large scale are discussing the impacts of climate change. They are discussing the global biodiversity loss. They are also worried about the extinction of the endangered species or very special species are also getting in, uh, extincted. So, they are worried uh, about the bio, natural biodiversity loss throughout the world. And in this scenario, the, uh, this organization is making a huge impact by, you know, giving out periodical reports about the health of the global biodiversity. And it is coterminous with the IPCC, which is the UN climate science body. So, this is also a climate science body and it is coterminous with the IPCC. With this, we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen what are the invasive alien species. We have also analyzed the damage that is caused by these uh, invasive alien species on our global biodiversity. And we have also seen this body which has released a recent report warning us about the threat of these invasive alien species on the global biodiversity. If you ask me ma'am, what is the way forward? How can we mitigate the impact of these invasive alien species? Firstly, you need to identify these invasive alien species. You need to reduce them. In fact, 80% of the countries have included reduction of these invasive alien species in their natural biodiversity plan. But if you ask me the ground action, it is very less. So, by 2030, you need to reduce their impact. Otherwise, your biodiversity will be threatened. It will be severely threatened by these invasive alien species. Then we need to bring the reduction in a, under the jacket of a legislative system as well. The country needs to bring out legislation to you know, decrease these invasive alien species and to reduce their impact. So, these are some of the uh, way forwards which I can suggest or they are uh, right in my opinion. In fact, the countries need to work in close cooperation to protect our planet and India specifically needs a comprehensive policy for determining the or for decreasing the threats of these invasive alien species. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number one is invasive alien species are introduced by human activities. Your statement number two is they are beneficial to the biodiversity. Your statement number three is the what are hyacinth ranks as the world's most widespread invasive alien species on land. Select the correct answer using the quotes given below. Your options are option A is one only, option B is two and three only, option C is one and three only. And option D is 1, 2 and 3. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is, assess the impact of climate change on biodiversity. Firstly, we will uh, write about what is the biodiversity. You will also explain the climate change. You will also write that cl climate change is the single biggest threat to the biodiversity. You will write about the climate change impact on these invasive alien species. You will also mention what are these invasive alien species and how they are leading to the depletion of our biodiversity. Hence, you can say that and you can conclude that these invasive alien species, the climate change is in increasing their reproduction, is increasing the areas which they cover and hence it will definitely lead to the extinction of the native species. You can conclude holistically that the countries need to come forward and have an action plan developed for the uh, minimizing the threat by, caused by these invasive species as well as the threat caused by climate change on our global biodiversity. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you found the today's discussion to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.